Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Leos who are watching. So if you have Leo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Leo, what I'll be doing today is channeling any energy in regards to love that is currently in your life, or this energy may be on its way towards you, Leo. Before I do go ahead and begin and get started, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate with you or for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, Leo, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started here. So first, what we'll do is start out with some Moonology Oracle cards for Leo. Let's see what Leo needs to be aware of at this time, please, when it comes to their energy. All right, first we do have hold your vision, fixed moon, Leo, you are a fixed sign as well as Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius, but our first message, hold your vision, what else does Leo need to hear at this time, please? We also have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. One more message, please, for Leo. What else does Leo need to hear at this time, please, when it comes to their energy? Let's go ahead and reshuffle. And we also have, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So Leo, to do a recap, we have hold your vision as well as you and your loved ones are safe. Cancer energy and it's time to take action. Aries energy. So Leo, with these Moonology Oracle cards, you could feel free to apply them to any area of your life as well as anything within this reading. But I feel like there's a better version of something, Leo, that you aspire to be or you a better a vision that you're holding because it, it could be like my dreams will come true or it could be something that needs to be solved or resolved Leo and you're just waiting for that resolution to take place here you may have been daydreaming Leo um, and I say that because we have hold your vision and it's time to take action Whatever you're working towards for yourself, trust in the universe, but also baby steps are still steps. So if there's just one little thing that can help reduce a bigger matter at hand, try and do it for yourself, Leo. You could tell yourself, I'm doing this for myself because I know that the, the ending goal would be worth it here. You and your loved ones are safe divine protection perhaps there's a family situation that you're dealing with leo and you just want the best to happen hold that vision if you if you dream it leo you can achieve it your dreams are the blueprint so of course i'll refer back to these monology oracle cards if needed throughout your reading but let's just go ahead and get started with the tarot portion Let's see what we need to know here, please, for Leo when it comes to love and their energy at this time. What energy pertains to Leo, please? Okay, first we do have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups for Leo, what else is there, please? What's this Nine of Cups energy about? Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups. Who's this person that Leo is dealing with? We have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups. What else do we need to know here, please, for Leo? Okay, King of Pentacles. That did a 360, so King of Pentacles upright. Okay, we do have the Seven of Swords. Let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Swords energy, please, for Leo. 
which is the eight of, or five of cups seven of swords five of cups one more card please for leo and that is the six of wands so leo i feel like there's this mixture of new and past energy old energy and this old energy i'm referring to it it may come back into your life here first to start out with nine of cups knight of cups king of pentacles seven of swords five of cups and six of wands so i feel like for you leo you are in this process of, of surrendering or releasing and what you're releasing here it could be some deep-rooted feelings and emotions um something that you've been carrying with you every single day could be something from the past or just your overall feelings and emotions, Leo. Anything that may weigh you down or try and sink you down. I, I feel like you're, you're releasing in the ways that you know best or the ways that are helpful and suitable for you, Leo. Could also be trusting the universe, seeing things fall into place little by little here. But I feel like going back to what I mentioned previously, you're doing it for you. You're doing it for yourself. This could also be you embodying your divine feminine, just tuning back into yourself, prioritizing that self-love, not chasing and attracting. And what you're attracting here, Leo, is someone who is emotionally intelligent, also mature, wise. I feel like with this new energy, Knight of Cups and King of Pentacles, this is a very stable and mature person who is not emotionally unavailable, Leo. And I feel like they are a big listener but it's like this person knows just what to say. Like you're satisfied with what they tell you, what they disclose about themselves or just the responses to it's It's not someone who is faking or they just say it because it sounds good. I feel like this person actually feels for you, Leo. And they may be the type of person who they hear you out, they offer encouraging words, but then they're like, you know what? You're not in this together. What can I do to help you? What would make you feel better? Someone who has uh, resolutions, I was going to say options, but they do have options as far as things they could suggest to you to help make the situation at hand better. Also, someone who courts you, someone who caters to you, someone who takes the lead here. I also, I, they take the lead, but they want to know your opinion, Leo. They want to know how you like things so that they could cater to you. Could be a water sign or an earth sign, Leo. I feel like there are some stark differences between you two as far as personality, um, but it, it meshes well together. So then we have this past energy, seven of swords, five of cups. So it's like nine of cups, five of cups, you're in this process or period of releasing things and I feel like you're you're doing great Leo with the five of cups it's like I'm releasing what does not serve me I am not empty I still have all this behind me but then seven of swords it's like someone comes back out of nowhere to make their mark it's reminding me of an ego stroke and what I mean by that for example is someone you used to have feelings for it ends they come back in because they know how much you felt for them and they're they're just seeing if you'll you'll take the bait here so someone who's sneaky someone who just comes in and out of your life but i i don't feel like it's the best the best energy leo but the thing is if there has been silence or no contact or it's it's very well over and done between you and this past person they see you they see that recognition you're getting from this person or from other people in life altogether. They see you glowing, Leo. So that could be a test coming your way. Of course, do what makes you feel best. Leo, follow your feelings and your intuition. Following the Six of Wands, what else do we have for Leo, please? Okay, Five of Swords. Five of Swords for Leo. What else is making its way towards Leo, please, with the Five of Swords? That is the Judgment card. Five of Swords and Judgment. Let's go ahead and receive the Hierophant. We'll do three Advice cards, please, for Leo. What else do we need to know? 
what does Leo need to be aware of as far as advice? We have the Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles. One more card, please, for Leo to serve as advice. And that is the Empress. You don't chase, you attract Leo. Empress is Venus energy, so Taurus, Libra. Following the Six of Wands was the Five of Swords. Judgment. The Hierophant. And we have the Page of Swords. Or, the, yeah, the Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, Leo, so... As I was saying, this past person coming back or something from the past, just when you feel like you've, you're have you moving forward, you're moving past it, you, you see these accompl accomplishments or changes within or surrounding you. It's like when we're not so excited for something to take place, but we know it has to be done, then once we get used to it, once we start having that momentum here, we're like, this isn't bad. Like, I could get used to it. I could grow from this. This is actually good for me. And then from, and then out of nowhere, all of a sudden, something from the past comes in and they remind you of the past, whether it be good or bad. So I feel like that may resonate with you, Leo, but we have the Five of Swords. You may be torn on what you want to do, what is right for you. And to that, Leo, I would just say listen within your intuition your feelings and your emotions it's all about what you feel and think leo so maybe that'll help making whatever decision is right for you but five of swords it's like this is now on my mind i don't want it to be on my mind here especially when i was moving away from this energy to begin with the judgment card i feel like there will be um i was going to refer back to one of these messages but hold your vision we have hold your vision in the hierophant as well as the judgment card it's like what do you need to escape from leo what is needed in order for you to feel that relief and i i feel like with this energy you're thinking about the bigger picture the the when things come full circle will this person from the past add to me getting to the top will they match my energy Will they reflect my morals, my value, my willpower here? Are they trying to go up the stairs or are they trying to go down the stairs, Leo? So figuring that out for yourself, but I, I feel like that's how you're viewing it right now. Also total surrendering or just surrendering. Thinking about, does this person add to me? Do they limit me here? But all in all, Leo, as far as your advice, we have the Page of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Empress. I feel like you're embracing this new chapter. Although you're learning along the way and you could make some mistakes, you may slip, you may fall. I feel like the courage you have to push forward and pull forward, Leo, that's where the excitement resides. That's what makes it worth it for you, Leo. Also, once again, finding that rhythm, finding that momentum, finding what works for you. Because this could be that past person energy could have been a karmic person. And although you had love for them, there were certain things that were very big for you that could make or break your, your energy or maybe not make or break your energy, but they were definitely important factors for your energy here. And the Empress, I feel like with this new person coming towards you or anybody who comes towards you, you're just trusting of if it's meant to be, it will be, it will fall in line, it will multiply, I'm, I'm good where I'm at, I don't have to do too much, I don't have to, I show up for myself, but being myself will bring me what is meant for me here. So embodying that Empress energy, and I did not mention that Divine Feminine energy, Let's go ahead and pull some Hidden Truths Oracle cards just in case they may resonate for you, Leo. What do we have going on for Leo, please, at this time? Any messages for Leo? First we have, I left you before you could leave me. Let's see what else we have going on for Leo. I can't stop thinking about you. One more message, please, for Leo. And that is, we will be together again. 
So yeah, it could be a karmic, definitely a person from the past, Leo. But we will be together again. Let's see what signs may be relevant, please, for Leo. First sign we do have is Taurus. We have that Empress energy. Taurus as well as Gemini. And last but not least, we do have Aries. All right, Leo. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.